If we teach today as we taught yesterday, we rob our children of tomorrow. That's a quote by John Dewey. And it actually explains perfectly what I want to talk about today. Today we're going to talk about technological academics and how to improve school days of high school students in Germany. First, I'm going to introduce you to my um, proposal. Then we're going to talk about the problem, such as the problem solution, the budget, and also expected results and the concluding remarks. The Ludwig Uhlang Gymnasium is a leading high school located in Kirchhammunter Tech, Germany. And Kirchhammunter Tech is a small city of approximately 50,000 people located in the southern part of Germany, about three hours from Munich. The system of public education is viewed by many as old-fashioned and not meeting the needs of students in modern society today. So the purpose of this proposal is to formulate a plan in which this school could modernize both processes and the use of classroom technology within the goal of preparing students for both career success and continuing a university education. The best way to ultimately create the system to graduate better prepared and better educated high school students is to bring technology up to date. And very importantly, to, pro to provide training and education for the teaching staff in the school system. These changes will require a commitment from the public school board and the um, school's principal, Mr. Roll, and obviously they also need approval of increased budget to support the acquisition of modern hardware and software. My proposed solution for solving this issue will discuss how we can alter the current situation and within a realistic budget, make it more efficient and fun for students and teachers to engage with one another and learn new things. The ultimate goal is to graduate German high school students who are equal to American standards for higher education and employment. Public education is currently perceived as outdated and failing to satisfy the demands of students in, contemporary, in the contemporary society. So using chalkboards and paper such as pencil instead of computer screens and network connected tablets is one of the most basic instances of this lack of proficiency with current educational methods. Unfortunately, Ludwig Uhlang Gymnasium students are not prepared to compete in a technological society today. Students are handicapped by an education system that does not give students experience with rudimentary learning management systems. This became clear during the COVID-19 pandemic, since teachers had no experience communicating with students who were um, forced to work virtually from home since the virus spread so fast. Um, I graduated in 2020 um, from the Ludwig Uhlan Gymnasium High School myself, and everyone is aware um, of the reason why it has been dubbed as the most unexpected graduating year in a long time, because the virus spread so fast and quickly, so all schools had to be shuttered and confusion developed and um, this whole thing could have been avoided um, if there would have been like a good way to communicate. The teachers didn't have any phone numbers or email addresses, so it was just pretty much a whole big mess. And it was really, really bad for us as graduating students, since never really, since no one ever really have experienced something like that. So we didn't really know what's going on. It was only after I became a student in the United States that I fully that I became fully aware of the differences um, on how the education systems respond to the pandemic and the need for a system that continues um, contact between teachers and students, whether in person or virtually. There's actually um, a quote that I really liked from Leonora Chu. Um, a Berlin and Germany-based education writer for the Christian Science Monitor. And she says, Germany has the money. Why don't its schools have computers? Because only one in three students have access to online learning platforms. And compared with um, more than half in other countries across the developed world, that's not a lot. 
This puts German high school students at a very big disadvantage, whether they are pursuing a university education or entering the workforce. No longer should students be forced to sit in a drab, outdated classroom and stare at plain whiteboards. Every student's potential may be raised, which would also enhance the amount of material they really retain and prepare them for their future academic and or employment careers. More technology would not only make everything easier and more efficient in communication with students, but research also showed that students' grades and motivation significantly improved after teachers tried to change their, their style of study. One of, his, um, one of the examples um, I found is Stacy Roshan, and she's an advanced placement calculus teacher at a high school. She has switched up to recording her lectures and putting them on iTunes so the students have to go through them as a homework. As a result, she can concentrate on more on like the more practical part with, um, of the lesson, which would be solving problems in class. Since the average score went from 3.59 in the conventionally taught class to 4.11 in the class where she used more technology, she saw a significant difference between the class she was teaching that year and the year before. My proposed solution to the problem of lack um, of technology in German high school classrooms is based on the model right here in Novi High School in Michigan. My sister is currently enrolled at this, at this school and my plan is based on students' experience at this high school. So to pretty much explain our concept, every student has a unique email address and uh, um, that's the way for them to communicate between students and teachers only. So that's a really secure way to communicate with each other. The school has a website called Enterprise, which is a fully customizable online learning management system. It gives students a good overview of all of her classes, examinations, and also future activities like assignments or group work. As a result, teachers can simply, quickly, and securely communicate with students through announcements without encountering any issues. They can send announcements to students through their own course site, which they're creating at the beginning of the school year. Of course, this also implies that everyone should initially be familiar with how to use the application. That's why I recommend the school to invest money on programs that teach users how to utilize the apps properly. Enterprise has also support options in form of email, a forum, like a community, their FAQ website, social media, and also through videos or tutorials such as webinars. Second, it goes without saying that having a functional computer is a requirement for all students. During the pandemic, a lot of issues occurred since families didn't have enough devices to use when their kids um, had their classes at the same time. So it was very challenging to match everybody's schedule. And that's why Novi High School provided Chromebooks for students. Through that, all students have equal opportunities. I feel like the equal opportunities is also really important because otherwise some students don't have the opportunity to um, participate in their classes. Here you can see the overview of my budget and the justification for this upgrade in school technology is really based on the results achieved by spending $692 um, dollars per student on average. And this is reasonable and very necessary investment to meet the obligation of the school system to prepare high school graduates for future success. So in my budget table, you can see um, different categories like the product, the cost in dollars and the total cost. And then in the first column, we have the um, Chromebooks I would recommend. In the second one, you can find the um, website called Enterprise and it will require $360 per user. And then we also have the installation and the teaching programs, which are both estimations, but the school can get um, an exact um, offer if they're actually making a request at the website. 
the expected results of this project of my proposal is based on um, the good outcomes we've already seen at Novi High School. And I expect my proposed solution for the Ludwig Willorn Gymnasium to upgrade the technology platform and training for students and teachers. And through that, they will achieve um, familiarity with modern computer technology, and that will have a positive impact on students' learning experience. Through all this, teachers can ver um, vary their teaching methods for students with um, different learning styles, so the school can achieve full learning potential for every student. Another positive event, um, aspect would be the faster and more efficient communication between teachers and students. So they can also build a better relationship on, um, on a common ground for questions and answers. And last but not least, it's very important to ensure the technological knowledge for continuing education and also for their future career choices. And that will also lead for more success for each student. In conclusion, updating the common computer hardware and software platform at the Ludwig Uhlan Gymnasium will both modernize um, communication and the actual knowledge of the high school graduates. As shown in the cost table located within the budget section, my proposal will cost $692 per student. It will be simpler for instructors and for students to connect on several levels and to create a stable and encouraging learning environment. Thank you for listening to my presentation on this current topic. I really anticipate hearing from you and to discussing the next steps in moving this proposal into action.